right now. Flash flood warnings still in effect until 1245. These warnings include Colorado Springs, Fountain Security, Widefield. The heaviest rain, though, continuing to slide off toward the east. We still have the potential for some small hail as well to the south of Highway 94 and also just toward the north of Ellicott. This is just part of a long line of storms that extends all the way up into northeastern Colorado. This line of storms is going to keep on sliding off toward the east. As it does so, things will begin to quiet down from west to east tonight. Thank you to everybody who's still submitting pictures out there of the incredible amounts of lightning that we have had around the Colorado Springs area. Thank you to Sherry for submitting that to our Facebook page. Still getting not only rain to pile up, but also hail around the area, which is again why we have the flash flood warning in effect. Brian sent us that photo and another great one from Kimberly. Thank you to everybody for sharing your photos with us throughout the day on Facebook and Twitter. If you can safely get pictures for us, we love to use them on TV, show you what is actually happening on the ground level. It really helps us tell the weather story better. So thank you to everybody. I want to show you what's going to happen here through the rest of the night. Storms are going to keep on shifting off toward the east. By 2 o'clock in the morning, we may still have some lingering rain out near the Colorado-Kansas state line, but that comes to an end by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning may have some areas of patchy low clouds, maybe even a bit of very light drizzle out across the far eastern plains, but for most, it is going to be a dry start to the day, and it's going to be much, much quieter out there tomorrow than it was out there today. I do expect plenty of sunshine through the afternoon. The only exception will be up across the high country where we may have a few spotty showers during the late afternoon and evening. This is a look at 5 o'clock. I do expect temperatures tomorrow to be noticeably warmer and, again, conditions much quieter. We're keeping in that 10% chance for a few spotty showers early in the day, but I expect everything for the most part to be dry, not only tomorrow, but all the way through the work week and into the weekend. Temperatures get back into the 90s. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday will stay there through the weekend. Drop temperatures slightly on Monday, but we have a much quieter pattern of weather setting up for us here in southern Colorado. Pueblo, 89 degrees tomorrow, 95 on Wednesday, upper 90s expected Thursday into Friday, mid 90s over the weekend. And take a look at that, a dry seven day forecast. It has been a while since we have had one of those. Canyon City, 85 tomorrow, 92 on Wednesday. Temperatures in the mid to lower 90s as we head through the weekend, a dry forecast also in Canyon City. Teller County, 69 degrees tomorrow. Again, a 10% chance for a few lingering storms. 74 degrees on Wednesday, though. We'll keep 70s to near 80s as we head into your Friday and through the weekend. If you have any outdoor weekend plans, Mother Nature looks like she is going to cooperate. So it looks like she got kind of all of the tough weather out of the way on Monday, which I suppose maybe is a good thing. I want to remind you to get our Storm Tracker 13 weather app, something that a lot of folks told me firsthand helped them out today and this evening as these storms rolled through. It's free for your iPhone and your Android. You can get alerts sent to your phone if severe weather is in your neighborhood. You can also track the storms along with us. Again, it's free. All you have to do is search for Storm Tracker 13 weather. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter as well. Share your photos with us and don't forget that we are always tracking the storms on caredio.com. Yeah, and with all that widespread damage we saw, mm -hmm.